Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So sa video natin ngayon ay itatackle naman po natin yung mga shortcut, tips, and tricks kung paano sagutan ng mabilisan yung mga common na mga math problems na lumalabas sa mga government examinations, especially sa civil service exam. So without any further ado, let us start with shortcut in solving sum of consecutive numbers starting from 1. At kapag sinabi po natin starting from 1, that means applicable po siya for all positive numbers. So hindi po kasali si 0 kasi yung 0 is not a positive number. So let's take a look at this example. Find the sum of all consecutive numbers from 1 to 15. Ang ibig sabihin po nito, hahanapin natin yung total kapag i-add daw natin yung lahat ng numbers from 1 up to 15. So, ang gagawin lang pala dito is ganito. Diba there are 15 numbers from 1 up to 15? So, yung 15 numbers na yan, multiply lang po natin sa number na kasunod sa 15. So, that means times 16. And after getting the result, just divide by 2. At yan na po yung sum of all consecutive numbers from 1 up to 15. So, now let's try to solve. 15 times 16, 5 times 6, and that is 30, carry 3, 1 times 6, and that is 6, plus 3, and that is 9, 5 times 1, and that is 5, 1 times 1, and that is equal to 1. So we have 0, 14, carry 1, 240. So yung 240 divided by 2 lang, at yung result, yun na po yung sum of all consecutive numbers from 1 up to 15. So, to verify this, punta po tayo sa ating calculator. 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus 7, plus 8, plus 9, plus 10, plus 11, plus 12, plus 13, plus 14, and plus 15, and that is equal to 120. So, tama po yung ating technique. Next example, find the sum of all consecutive numbers from 1 up to 100. So again, ang unang gagawin po is to count all the numbers from 1 up to 100. And obviously, there are 100 numbers, right? So 100 times 101. Bakit 101? Kasi imumultiply natin ang number nito sa kasunod niyang number. Let's multiply 100 by 101. So 0 times 1, and that is 0. 0 times 1, 0 again. 1 times 1, and that is equal to 1. Then 0 times any number, and that is equal to 0. Then 0 times 1, and that is 0 again. 0 times 1, 0. 1 times 1, and that is 1. So bring down 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we have 10,100. At yung last step po natin dito is yung result divided by 2 lang. So that means, kalahati ng 10,100 is 5,050. Therefore, the sum of all consecutive numbers from 1 up to 100 is equal to 5,050. So, I hope that makes sense. So now, let's proceed with the sum of consecutive odd numbers starting from 1. So, let's have an example. Find the sum of all odd consecutive numbers from 1 up to 20. Again, ang unang gagawin po natin is to count all the odd numbers na nakapaloob sa 1 to 20. So, ano-ano ba yung mga numbers na ito? So, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. At meron din pong technique kung paano makuha yung mga odd numbers or even numbers ng mabilisan without listing like this one. So diba 20, 1 to 20. So yung kalahati ng 20 which is 10, so ibig sabihin there are 10 odd numbers and at the same time there are 10 even numbers. Example, ilan ba yung mga even or odd numbers from 1 up to 200? So kalahati ng 200 which is 100. So, ibig sabihin nito, there are 100 even numbers and 
there are 100 odd numbers. So, yan po ay para mas madali ninyong makuha kung ilan yung mga odd numbers, even numbers sa mga malalaking number. Kasi kung ililista nyo pa po manually, ay matatagalan po kayo. It takes time na. At ngayon, balik na po tayo dito sa ating problem. Let's find the sum of all odd consecutive numbers from 1 to 20. At ang gagawin naman po natin dito is ganito. Diba there are 10 odd consecutive numbers from 1 to 20? So, ibig sabihin, kunin lang po natin yung square ng 10, which is 100. So, therefore, the sum of all odd consecutive numbers from 1 to 20 is just equal to 100. In layman's term, kapag i-add po pala natin ang mga numbers na ito, equal lamang sa 100. So, I hope that's clear. So, now let's proceed with our next example. Find the sum of all odd consecutive numbers from 1 to 60. Again, first step is to count all the odd consecutive numbers within the range of 1 to 60. So, kalahati ng 60, which is 30. So, ibig sabihin nito, there are 30 odd consecutive numbers. So, kunin yung square ng 30, which is 900. Therefore, the sum of all odd consecutive numbers from 1 to 60 is equal to 900. So, I hope that makes sense. So now, let's proceed with the sum of all even consecutive numbers starting from 2. So, let us say for example, find the sum of all even consecutive numbers from 2 to 35. And of course, as we all know, 35 is not even. So, hanggang 34 lang po tayo. So, kalahati ng 34, which is 17. So, therefore, there are 17 consecutive even numbers. At ang gagawin naman po natin dito is imumultiply natin itong 17 sa kasunod niyang number, which is 18. So, therefore, 17 times 18. So, now, let's try to solve. 7 times 8, and that is 56, carry 5. 1 times 8, and that is 8 plus 5, 13. 1 times 7, 7. 1 times 1, 1. Bring down 6. 3 plus 7, and that is 10, carry 1, 306. So, that means, the sum of all even consecutive numbers from 2 to 35 is just equal to 306. Another example. Find the sum of all even consecutive numbers from 2 to 58. So, dito, kasali yung 58 kasi even po yung 58. Kanina kasi yung 35 hindi natin sinali kasi add po yung 35. So now, kalahati ng 58 is 29. So that means, we will multiply this number sa kasunod niya, which is 30. So, 29 times 30. 9 times 0, and that is 0. 2 times 0, and that is also 0. 9 times 3, and that is 27, carry 2. 2 times 3, and that is 6, plus 2, and that is 8. So we have 0, 7, 8. So, 870. Therefore, the sum of all even consecutive numbers from 2 to 58 is just equal to 870. And now, let's proceed with the shortcut in finding the consecutive numbers. Let's have an example. Find the six consecutive numbers whose sum is 123. So, ano daw yung anim na magkakasunod-sunod na mga numbers at kung i-add natin sila, ang result is 123. So, ganito po ang gawin natin. 123 divided by 6 para makuha po natin kung ano yung gitnang number. So, 123 divided by 6 and that is equal to 20. 20 times 6 and that is 120. So, 123 minus 120 and that is equal to 3. 3 divided by 6, so hindi siya pwede, dagdag tayo ng 0. Bring down 0, so 30 divided by 6, and that is equal to 5. 5 times 6, and that is equal to 30. So 30 minus itself is just equal to 0. So ang ibig sabihin po nito, yung gitnang number pala natin is 20.5. Pero hindi naman tayo pwedeng gumamit ng may decimal kasi kapag consecutive numbers, ang lumalabas talaga is mga integers or yung mga whole numbers lang. So that means... Ang gitnang number po natin is 20 and 21. Pinagitnaan natin yung 20.5.
at ibig sabihin din ito, this is 19, 18, and this is 22, and 23. At ang ibig sabihin din po nito na ito pala yung anim na magkakasunod-sunod na mga numbers ang hinahanap natin. At kung i-add daw natin sila, the result is 123. Another example, find the eight consecutive odd numbers whose sum is 128. So hahanapin natin yung walong magkakasunod-sunod pero mga odd numbers lang na yung sum daw nila is 128. So, ang gagawin din po natin is ganito, 128 divided by 8 para mahanap natin or malaman natin kung ano yung gitnang number. So, 12 divided by 8 and that is 1. 1 times 8 and that is equal to 8. So, 12 minus 8 and that is equal to 4. Bring down 8. So, 48 divided by 8 and that is exactly equal to 6. 6 times 8 and that is 48. So, 48 minus 48 and that is equal to 0. At ngayon, since alam na natin yung gitnang number which is 16, pero remember 16 is not an odd number. So, therefore, yung gitnang number natin is 15 and 17. Pinagitnaan natin. So, therefore, this is 19, 21, and 23. At dito naman, this is 13, 11, and 9. So, ang ibig sabihin po nito na ito pala yung walong magkakasunod-sunod na mga odd numbers at kapag i-add natin sila, the result is 128. Before we'll wrap up this video, I want you to solve this one. And feel free to comment your answers below using the technique that we have in this video. Find the 12 consecutive even numbers whose sum is 468. Again, practice makes perfect. And our videos are just a guide to your success and ikaw lang mismo ang makakadikta sa sarili mo kung papasa ka ba o hindi based on your study habits. So, that's all for this video and I hope na may natutunan ka today. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.